What is going on guys? Your shredded brother from another mother and this video today has the potential to have a ton of controversy and negative comments but all I can do is be real with you guys and tell my honest stories of what's happened to me when I've tried different things throughout my fitness journey and I know this video it's gonna come across the wrong way to a lot of you guys but I do believe this has the potential to help so many of you who are trying to develop your chest, really trying to develop any leggy muscle group. So let me backtrack about, gosh, this is like 12, 13, almost 15 years ago. Now, I was very skinny. I was an ectomorph. I had a very small chest. And I've always just had a super obsessive personality. So I had the idea that I would just do push-ups every single day until failure. So I had this magic number in my head that I would do 100 push-ups every single day until failure. And I kid you not, I went from, I think I was like 17 or 18 all the way till I was past the age of 19. And I did 100 push-ups at the minimum every single day. I think, you know, I probably missed two or three days maybe in the span of a year and a half. Now, you guys ask me so much how I've developed my chest. And to be honest with you, I don't know if it's genetics or it's this experiment that I did back in high school. But ever since that I did 100 push-ups every single day for over a year straight, I noticed that my chest just grew exponentially faster than any other muscle group. And you guys always ask me, you know, how I developed my chest. I've had probably 15, 20 videos on this channel for chest training. And my chest videos typically get more views than any other muscle group. And to be honest with you, it's either genetics or it's the fact that I did push-ups every single day for over a year straight until failure. So I want to share with you guys how to, if you guys want to try this crazy experiment because it is pretty nuts. I want to give you guys the blueprint on what I feel will give you guys the best results. And this is looking at it from a rest and recovery standpoint. This is looking at it from a bodybuilding perspective and exercise science perspective. So I'm just gonna give you guys the whole blueprint. If you have not already, give this video a big thumbs up. I really hate asking, but it helps the algorithm. It helps more people discover this video in the channel. Or if you disagree with me, give it a big thumbs down and let me know why in the comments below. I've noticed that the click-through rate on all these home workouts with no equipment is really low. And I make videos for you guys. I make videos to help you guys. So if you've hunted down some dumbbells, some bands, or you still have access to a gym, let me know if you want me to go through a bunch of dumbbell and band workouts for every single muscle group because I want to help you guys and really understand what type of equipment you have at home. But let's get back to these chest gains. Now the easiest way to do this experiment, especially right now with all the gyms closed, is simply with push-ups. But I know if I just tell you guys you do push-ups every day until failure, you're going to have really bad form, you're not gonna activate your chest, and you're going to see really poor results with this experiment. Now that's why I'm going to recommend that if you do this experiment, you do something that I call slow motion pause push-ups. So let me go on the ground here. Here's what I want you guys to do, and there's no, there's no magic number that you need to hit with these push-ups. You don't need to do 100 every single day. What's important is that you activate your chest every day. Now, here's the type of form I want you to do. Instead of just having, most of you guys have really bad form. I actually made an entire video on push-up form, but I know you guys are gonna have some bad form. You're gonna stress your anterior deltoids. You're gonna do something like this. What I'm gonna recommend that you do, and I don't care if you can only do five of them, if you can only do five reps, eight reps, 10 reps, this is still gonna be really good for you guys. What I want you guys to do is go slower on the way down. And I actually want you to go all the way down. So see how I'm kind of arching my butt up and see how my chest is on the ground? Explode up. So slow eccentric, full range of motion, pause, explode up, squeeze the chest to the top. The most important thing if you're doing this experiment is you actually want to activate your chest. If you're just doing half-assed form on push-ups, you're just trying to hit a number in your head, you guys are gonna see very poor results. So the best thing that you can do is do these pause push-ups. You guys are going to activate your chest. It's going to be an all-around chest workout. Now, that's a very simple way to do it. Now, I recommend you throw in, if you're only doing body weight, you're only doing push-ups, I recommend you do decline push-ups, you do incline push-ups, 
you do diamond push-ups, but the core exercise that I want you guys to do almost every day are those slow motion pause push-ups. Keep it simple, stupid. In the next two to three minutes, I'm gonna give you every detail you need. So if you wanna try this experiment, write these steps down, take some notes, and remember, keep it simple, stupid. Do not overcomplicate this. So let's get into the actual training protocol and then the five X factors that you absolutely, non-negotiable, have got to follow. Now, if you're a beginner, and your advance, I'm gonna separate your weekly volume. Now, what I think will work best for you is if you slowly increase the volume each week. So you're not gonna do three sets every single day, you're not gonna do five sets every single day. Each week, you're going to slowly bump up the volume because once again, your body is an adaptation machine. It wouldn't make sense to do the same volume week in and week out. So, if you're a beginner, start small. Two sets every single day. Week two, three. Week three, bump it up to four sets. Week four, five. And if you wanna go longer than four weeks. By the way, I did, I did this experiment for almost a year. All the experiments that I've done for nuclear overload where I've only gone for 28 days, I have not seen that great of results. There's no magic time. You're overtraining a muscle group. There's really been no scientific evidence that says if we do this for four weeks, it's better or worse. But in my own personal experience, when I did this for a lot longer, I had a lot better results. So you guys get the drill. If you're advanced, you might wanna start at four sets per week. Week two, six sets. Week three, you're up to eight sets. Week four, 10 sets. So that's just you know a little bit of a template for you guys to follow. This is not concrete, but slowly bump up the volume. Now, you wanna go two to three moves a week, and if you can, Add a little bit of variety. Don't do the exact same moves every single week. Find the moves that you feel the best chest activation on. You wanna go lighter weight. Lighter weight is going to be really important. You don't wanna overload your joints with your five rep PR max on bench press every single day for a year straight. That is not what I'm telling you to do. Keep it in the 15 to 30 rep range. I recommend cables. I recommend push-ups if you're doing body weight. I recommend moves that are very easy on your joints. Balloon method chest workout. I recommend that you guys do a high volume chest workout like your typical bodybuilding routine where you're going heavy on the bench press, you're going heavy on the dumbbell incline, whatever your favorite mass builders for chest are. You're still gonna be doing that workout, but if you're a beginner, I only want you to do that type of workout one time per week. If you're advanced, I want you to do that type of workout two times per week. I recommend you do a balloon method chest workout throughout this experiment to see the fastest results. This is going to ensure that you maximize the three science-backed ways that your body builds muscle mass. So I'm gonna link to the balloon method playlist for chest and for every single muscle group down in the description. Highly recommend that you do that for your high volume chest days. So one to two days per week, your normal high volume weight room chest workout. The other six days per week, the nuclei overload experiment should only take you like five to 10 minutes every single day. You wanna go higher rep, shorter rest times, just knock it out, back to back to back, five, 10 minutes. It doesn't even need to be at the same time as your normal workout. That's why I recommend push-ups because I can do a quick three sets of push-ups until failure with short rest times in a matter of three to five minutes, guys. Do not overcomplicate it, keep it simple. This right here, so important. Number one, you want to eat a lot. Do not do this when you are shredding. Do not do this if you are not at least, at the bare minimum, eating maintenance level calories. How do you figure out your maintenance level calories or your surplus lean bulk calories? I'm gonna throw a free calorie calculator on my website, 100% free. Just put in your info. It's gonna spit out based on your age, your activity level, your weight, everything, how many calories you need to eat. Maintenance level at the minimum, I recommend even slightly higher than this two to 300 above maintenance for optimal results. Number two, rest a lot. Eight to nine hours of sleep every single day. This is non-negotiable. You're overtraining a muscle group. Let's have some common sense, guys. Number three, glutamine and vitamin C. Glutamine becomes an essential amino acid in times of stress, in times of overtraining. So at the very minimum, I recommend five to 10 grams of glutamine every single day. I also recommend you supplement with vitamin C. If you want to spend a little bit more money on supplements for even better recovery, I recommend from my company, Elfline, 
Goatine Whey Isolate to get in more protein every single day. Alpha Dreams before you go to bed for recovery. And also Jet Gains for post-workout. It's gonna give you guys five grams of creatine every single day as well. Lots of water. Water is so important, guys. Your muscles are mostly water, so drink a lot of water throughout this overtraining experiment. And number five, stress less. Do not do this at a time in your life when you are really stressed out. If you're going through a breakup, if you just lost your job, if you're studying for midterms, it's your final semester in college and you are stressed out, your stress level is a nine out of 10, don't do this experiment. It's not the best time. You don't wanna combine physically stressing yourself out with mentally stressing yourself out. Your cortisol is gonna be through the roof, you're gonna have no gains, and you're not gonna see the best results possible. So we are up to today's giveaway. And if you haven't done so yet, give this video a big thumbs up, train your chest every day, keep me updated on your progress by tagging me on Instagram, at Troy Shred, or sending me a DM. We are up to today's giveaway, and it is in this Shy, look how excited he is. How excited are you for this giveaway? Woo! Giveaway! All right. You guys aren't getting the gold. You're getting what's inside the gold. So to enter today's giveaway, and I can't reveal what's in here yet, all you have to do is comment down below where you are from and if your gym is still open. So comment where you're from, let me know if your gym is open, and I'm gonna pick someone who comments in the first 24 hours of the video. That's why you gotta make sure that you tap that notification bell next to subscribe. So, we have inside the top rated high sim pre-workout of 2019, Superhuman Supreme by my company Elf Lion. So this is Hulk Juice flavor. If you guys take pre-workout, you're absolutely gonna love this and I wanna get it in the hands of one of you guys for free. If you want to stay right here on YouTube, I'm going to link right over here to the Balloon Method workout playlist. I'm going to link over here to my recent video, and I will see you guys on the next video. You ain't got no games. You ain't lift no weights.